They told me for years there was no money in podcasting. Well, they were all wrong. Why do people love Shrek? That's, <laughs> that's so random. I don't even know why that's on here. What dude, is that? Even, like, you must have an opinion on this for you to fucking, even. That is such. That is the. Shrek. That is the most obscure question of dude, random, like in in the world of random it's questions. It's unknown, unnamed nonsense. Damn it! It's just pure. And, it's just an utterly nonsensical question, but it's a great question. Why do people love Shrek? And I think it's because of the accent. <laughs> What kind of accent is it? It's Mike Myers. It's Mike. Okay, so it's. Oh, it's Mike. Well, it's Mike. So, so it's, it's Mike Myers. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. It's Mike Myers' own accent. It's he has his one to himself. Um. No. So here's how this question came about. Um. I watched this he video said, on he YouTube. Says, Donkey. Like, what is that? So, it, it it does sound a little it's bit Scottish. It, it say it sounds it it's sounds Scottish. Scottish. So here's here's the backstory. So I was watching a video on YouTube because I consume content differently. Remember that? Right. Um. It was about how Shrek like almost didn't become Shrek, or how Shrek was almost insanely different, because it was originally pitched in the early 90s, and Chris Farley was going to be the voice of Shrek. No way. Uh, but then Chris Farley went back to before he was born and died. Um, so they couldn't do that anymore. So they got Mike Myers, and Mike Myers recorded the whole movie, and then was like, you know what? I think it would be better if I did it with a Scottish accent. So they, they did a test, they agreed, and they re they re recorded all of his lines for the entire movie in that accent. And then now, what we know is Shrek today is Shrek today. But why do people love Shrek? Sounds like you love Shrek too. You know the you know all the background. You, uh, first off, do you not love Shrek? I don't. I wouldn't say I love Shrek. What what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> I wouldn't say I love Shrek. When's the last like time you know what I want to do? I want to watch. I want to watch Shrek Seven. When's the last time? Okay, let me, let me also clarify. There's reason I didn't put Shrek One through Four. I just put Shrek as in the first Shrek because all the other Shreks. Oh, are... I thought you meant the character Shrek. Oh, I meant the movie. Okay, okay, that's how you interpret it. I interpret it as the movie Shrek. The, oh, the, okay. Specifically, the first movie. Mm -hmm. But people like the second movie, and the rest are awful. But People love Shrek. I don't get it. I don't get it. It can't be just because of the accent. No, no, that's just that's just me yeah. being silly. That's just me tying in all the other questions into this one question. Uh, but the first movie is amazing. All right, the first movie is you can't get the Marvel Cinematic Universe without Shrek. What? Do, do I do I need to explain? Mar Marvel. Marvel. Yeah, yeah. So Marvel's the Marvel Smack Universe, you know, our last Spider Man had like Spider Man, uh, Doc Ock, Green Goblin. You're like, oh, so you're watching a Marvel movie, you're like, yo, this is playing this is paying homage to Shrek. No, nah, I'm saying I couldn't exist. <laughs> I couldn't I'm saying it couldn't exist without the success of Shrek. Because Shrek <laughs> had all these different fairy tale stories combined mm -hmm. into one story. You got the you got the fairy godmother, you got Prince Charming, you got the three little pigs, you got the big bad wolf, you got the gingerbread man, you got Lord Fuckwad. All right, like all that, they big man. That's they really, the cinematic universe. they really snuck that in there. They snuck the far, that in the there. far quad. They really snuck. Yeah, fuck, the, Lord, Lord, fuck Lord. They yeah, really amazing. snuck that in yeah. there. What? <laughs> Welcome to do love. It's the perfect town. We see have some rules. Let us lay them down. You know, you know, you know the song. <laughs> I don't know the song. <laughs> how many times? How many times have you watched Shrek? Dude, I want to go home and watch Shrek tonight. I don't know what platform we're talking. I'm going to find it. Shrek, Shrek is the best. Shrek is the fucking best, and it needs to be answered why oh people love him. Because I love Shrek. Well, why? But you you got to you got to look. That's where you got to start. Why do you love Shrek? I don't know. I have no idea. It sounds like it brings you a lot of joy. It does. Shrek brings me so much joy. It's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. But to be honest. There are a thousand movies way better than Shrek that I do not like as much as I love Shrek. Okay. Yeah. The I, second I, people love the second one, but it's just just bad. I I I, I can't say. The only explanation I that I there's no other explanation I could have than it's just a good, funny kids movie that also adults can watch and also find humorous because of the hidden subtext at times also it was the it was the perfect movie for 2001 it was released in 2001 i guess when it came out 2001 2001 look up the actual release date uh because if it was after 9 11 i have some bold statements to make uh now nah, you're it, it, let's let's go to google when was the release date for shrek let's go to google it says two, 2001 but it's an actual date uh let's see let's go to 
doesn't Shrek re- Shrek release date? Mm, do we have the release date? Usually it has it. Doesn't have it. All right, so let's just look it up. Shrek. April. So April, before. Okay, pre nine eleven. Before. Uh, oh my. Okay. Sh- okay. Shrek the musical was set. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. So wow. Here's what I just googled. Oh, that's okay. Two thousand eight. Ooh. Thank God. Never mind. False alarm. So it's April. So it's April two thousand one. Yep. April twenty second. Uh. Yeah. So literally, it kicked off the summer movie season, even though it's springtime, with just a perfect banger. With the theme song brought to you by Smash Mouth. That was also a big reason. That song. You had All Star. Like a lot of people associate that song with, with that Shrek. movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's this the perfect song. It it's just it the whole movie is perfect. The dynamic <laughs> the dynamic between Shrek and Donkey is perfect. It is such a good movie. It's like it's like a I, this is this is gonna sound crazy to me. It's like it's like Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. Yes, that's crazy, but yes, I know exactly. It's, what you except mean. it's Mike Myers and Eddie Murphy. Yeah, and one of them's a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them's an ogre. Like it's so quotable. It's so relatable. The beauty's on the inside, Christian. It's on the inside. Making waffles. Making waffles. It's so quotable. And don't get me wrong, they put a whole scene from that movie in I Am Legend. They had Will Smith, word for word, verbatim, go, hey, I got an idea. I can live with you. And he goes, he loves Shrek in that movie. So post-apocalypse, they could have put on any movie. But no, 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 no. They put on Shrek. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. The dog loves Shrek. I mean, and essentially, essentially in that movie, though, you know, the dog is Donkey. Will Smith is Shrek. It's them against the world. Them against the world. <laughs> them against the world. Yeah, and there's, there's so many similarities uh, between I Am Legend and Shrek. And then, and then I think it's the grand finale. Like, I watched this movie all the time as a kid, all the time. And literally, dude, picture like 2001. So it's probably like some VHS 2002. I was seven. Picture eight year old me. Uh, at the end of the movie, where they they sing a dance to the music, I was in my living room going like this, doing the monkey dance around like a fucking little maniac, eight years old, to that song. I'm about to say this is like an integral part of your childhood. It is a cornerstone of my childhood. It's that and Titanic, those two movies are the cornerstone of my Titanic? childhood. Titanic. Yeah. Why Titanic? And that's that's a question for you know what? I'll put it, I'll add it to the list. Why does Will love Titanic? Because uh, we did have a question, what do you think, I think is one of the best movies um, ever, and I, I believe you mentioned Titanic. Yeah, that was, uh, me and Sam talked about our top five favorite movies, number one's always Titanic. Titanic. Uh, Shrek, next time someone asks me, Shrek might make the top five, I'm not going to lie. Top five. But Shrek in and of itself is a cultural phenomenon, so Google that. Why do people love Shrek and see what comes up? <laughs> We've been talking about Shrek for like 15 minutes almost. You've been talking about Shrek. <laughs> Get in the conversation, man. Shrek's a great character. I don't have anything to say, man. I've probably seen that movie. You're, you're going to be like, wow. I've, you've only seen that probably three times. All right. Dude, Puss in Boots got his own movie. All yeah, right. Puss in Boots, that was, he was dope. That at Antonio Banderas, that is how deep the Shrek universe goes. I mean, they did, they, they did kind of an, ense- an ensemble cast. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. The movie's perfect. The movie's <laughs> absolutely incredible. All right, here we go. Why is the internet obsessed with Shrek? Yeah, the Atlantic. Let's see what they got. Let's see if we can get a quick look. Look, 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 look at that face. Give her that ad. Give her that drop down. Look at him. Look at him. Ah! Donker. Yeah. Look at him. Donker. What we got here? The internet is full of inex- inexplicable trends, in jokes, and parody concepts that should that should be. What does that say? In, in the Christian screen, it's big on you. You read it. It's in, big on impenetrable, to, impenetrable to, to, to many, many a casual browser. There are useful sites that seek to explain the genesis and popularity of these ridiculous and impenetrable means, but they're in, but they are informational more than anything. I can't read this whole thing. Let's see. No, no. Let's get to the get to the good parts. Like, look at this meme. Find. Listen, you're going in a Shrek's mouth a bunch. It's great. Oh, 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 People in audio are really confused. Go it the says the Shrek, the Shrek franchise. Let's get, let's get a little zoom here. 110, you say. 
represents everything that was initially exciting and then quickly pa- uh, patronizing about the early 2000s. That's so true. It's symbolic of so many things we briefly loved before quickly realizing their emptiness. Dude, when they sing Hallelujah in that, in that movie. Hallelujah. Oh, people. Did you know about the Brogers? You're definitely a Broger. Where's a Broger? It's like a, it's like a bro with like an ogre. <laughs> nah, dude, I'm not an ogre. Don't call me an ogre. <laughs> some, Shrek, <laughs> Shrek, Shrek, some Shrek fans call themselves Brogers. Nah, I'm not a Broger. I'm not, okay, I don't love Shrek that much, please. Yeah, there's too much here to get to the bottom of this. All right, so why do people love Shrek? He's fucking awesome. That's why. 